Good evening, YouTube. Welcome to another episode of Poznanski's Beer Reviews. Sorry I've been away. So much work. Busy season started around... Let's see, around September, the beginning of September. So, uh, I've been at work a lot. I've also just been really busy with other stuff. Um... I'm going to do try to do many beer. I know I've been like over a month overdue right now. My apologies to all my fans. I hope I haven't lost any fans. Uh, it, I, I work, I've been working like almost every day now. As you can see, like it's all fading off of me. I haven't, I haven't even been drinking that much beer lately because I'm, I'm working all the time. Um, and I'm losing mad weight. Um, but we're going to drink today a Beta Christmas Ale. It's a seasonal from... Brewed and bottled by Abita Brewing Company out of Abita Springs in Los Angeles. I don't think I've had anything from them yet, um, but it'll be the first one. I like they have the date on this, Best Buy 3, 15, 16. Uh, this commercial description says, Each year at the Abita Brewery, we craft a special dark ale for the holiday season. Each year the recipe changes so that Abita Christmas ale is always the perfect gift. I'm guessing this is the 50, 2015 version. I couldn't find it on the internet. Um, they're 14, they're a beta uh, Christmas sale 2013 and 14, both get an 80 on uh, Beer Advocate. Uh, on the 2014 version, it doesn't know what the ABV is on Rate Beer. I mean, on Beer Advocate, on Rate Beer, it says it's 6.13. Doesn't say it on here. And on the 13 version, it says 5.5. Uh, I think this is the 2015 version because it has Best Buy 2016 on the bottle. So if you guys have any information about uh, which version I'm drinking, I would be I would love to know. It doesn't say. Pry off cap. Does that mean it's no? It's. Um. So yeah, uh, Rape Beer gives this one a 28 overall and a 31 in the style. Commercial description on this is as benefits, as, yeah, as befits any Christmas present, each year's offering it is a unique product crafted with special care. Generally, this beer is a dark ale. However, the recipe changes each year. Available in November 30th. I'm guessing this is the 2015 version. And I love seasonal beers of winter. I love the festive season, even though I'm a Jew. But, uh, this doesn't really look like a dark ale. It looks more like an IPA, to be honest. Oh, wait, is it a dark? Here it's classified as an English pint amber. The, right beer, they classify it as an amber ale. The 2014 version is an American brown ale. And on the 13, it is an American brown hand, but this looks more amber to me. Quite cloudy, a lot of carbonation, uh, about a finger of an off white, soapy head. Got some nice hops in there. Mainly hops, maybe some crystal more. Um, this doesn't too, this doesn't smell too Christmassy or too festive. I'm getting mostly hops. Not getting very much, uh, yeah, just hot. I'm not getting any like cinnamon, nutmeg, or ginger, or any of that kind of holiday festive ingredients. But let's go for a taste. All right. Here's the thing. Oh, I want to give a shout out to my buddy Tops and his girlfriend Melanie. But, uh, You get, you get hops, some nice, <coughs> sorry, maybe a little caramel malts, nice bittering hops to go with it, but here's the thing, it's a good beer, but what rape beers, I think, the, I might, I'm going to give it a score right now, the score I would give this beer is the 80 for overall for beer 
I would give this like a 10 in the style. It doesn't taste like a holiday festive beer. It tastes like a regular amber ale. I don't get any cinnamon, no nutmeg, no, no, uh, no spice. Nothing you would suspect in a Christmas ale. You know? It leaves some nice lacing on the glass. That's very nice. But um, it doesn't taste like a winter seasonal. It almost tastes like a, a fall seasonal, to be honest. I don't detect any hints of uh, of any of any, uh, of any uh, like Christmas festive elements. Um, overall, the beer is good. It's an eighty beer, but like in the style, it's it's not up to par with what a winter seasonal should taste like. I was actually quite bummed because I love winter seasonals more than I love uh, October and November seasonals. So. Those are my feelings on this beer. Um, slightly watery. Head retention is not that great, but the lacing on the glass is very nice. I like that. Um, maybe a typical amber ale ingredients. You got nice hops. What kind of hop? Maybe some centennial hops. Um... Some Centennial Hops, and you got maybe some Caramel Malt or Crystal. Uh, and I want a Turo. That's about it. Um, it's a good beer. I mean, pick it up. If you like beer, you'll like this beer. Uh, as always, guys, rate, comment, subscribe. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. And I will see you next time on Poznanski's Beer Reviews. I will try to get more beer reviews done. I am sorry. I've been slacking lately. Love you guys. Take care. Bye.